This episode of BFC TV is brought to you by Polaroid. Welcome to BFC TV. My name is Ben, and today I feel like taking a dip. I want to bring the Polaroid SX70 underwater, but how could I do such a thing? The Ike Light SX70 underwater housing is a truly bizarre piece of kit. And although it offers surprising functionality with the SX70's various dials and buttons, shooting Polaroids underwater is not without substantial challenges. So we brought in someone who could help us dip our toes in the water. My name is Storm Choi. Uh, I'm a photographer, both digital and analog, but uh, I've done a lot of underwater work in the past and uh, excited to try this thing out. I've never gone diving with a, a mailbox before. <laughs> you know, and as soon as I went down, I mean, you feel it pulling you up. I mean, you, you yeah. have a hard time getting down at all. You Absolutely. have to kind of push this thing down. But in all, in all honesty, there's so little about this housing unit that makes sense. The trigger mechanism, being able to focus, the viewfinder is not usable. I would have loved to have been in the meeting where this was pitched. You right. know, being like, I have this idea. <laughs> That's a great point. I mean, yeah. the, the very concept of this barely makes sense because yeah. like, you can imagine a professional photographer in the 80s when this case was in invented needing to test lighting underwater um, but they would use like pack film for that so you wouldn't use an SX70 underwater for that <laughs> um, so it's like purely seemingly created as a creative tool which I find kind of cool so much control is sort of taken from you like in the sense <laughs> of like the camera's moving you can't see through the viewfinder like we're not focusing under there because yeah. even if the presetting focusing knob was working well just, what you would still we can't see it. it. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. doesn't really help. Apparently, uh, Ike Light, which is still a company that exists, they're the company that made this case, there was an external viewfinder attachment for it, but I still don't know how that would have helped much yeah. or how that would have even worked with this camera. So the SX70 uh, fits very bizarrely in here, sort of like leaning against the side of the casing, and it's got these two plungers. And these things control the exposure compensation and the focus, so you rotate and it turns the dial. However, it's not exactly uh, effective at doing that, so I think <laughs> we're probably going to be presetting everything before we go in and just using these to kind of lock it down. And this is how the shutter is actuated. You use this external lever and that presses down on the shutter button. Hey, I'm Sophia. I'm the talent for today, as Ben told me to serve it. I grew up swimming a lot. I think for me, the big point is just being able to get myself fully down, get all the bubbles out of my nose. And then once I'm in a comfortable like position, I mean, it was pretty hard today because the pool only went four feet deep. So I was yeah. hitting the floor right, right away, but just being as like fluid and extending my limbs as much as possible, doing as much as I can because I can't communicate with you underwater yet, but yeah. But I was able to hear whenever the Polaroid shutter went off and I was like, that's my cue to go back up and breathe. Opening a pack of Polaroid while dripping wet. This is what BFC TV is all about. <laughs> okay, the photo ejects into this little slotted area. In our test so far, the photo hasn't really come all the way out into this and so we think we're gonna have to take the housing off every time we take one photo, which is a little annoying. Back in the day, you could just you know, go crazy with it. Uh, it also has flash sync, which makes sense because the original format you'd be shooting in this casing would be SX70 film, which is 160 ASA. And uh, that'd be really hard to use underwater. You would not have a lot of light. So using a strobe would be really necessary. However, today we are using a modded SX70, which didn't exist back then. And so we're shooting 640 speed film in here using the power of the sun, which is one of my favorite uh, light sources. So the challenge we're currently facing is how to hit focus underwater. There's no autofocus on this model, uh, obviously, so we're sort of zone focusing and trying to hit that scale underwater, like estimating, and that's really hard to do on the SX-70 because the plane of focus is very narrow. Even though it's a Polaroid, it's larger than medium format. Um, so we just did a 10 feet distance shot, and I think that one's coming out pretty cool. And now we're gonna try minimum focusing distance. So 
a little longer than that, maybe like two feet, just to see what that would look like. Maybe we could hit focus a little bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> we have a saying called Kolodnis Glad, which means cold gaze. And the purpose of it is that when someone looks at a photo of you, they you're, you kill them with your eyes. Whoa. Oh. So kind of like the modern day smize, but we say cold gaze. Oh, wow. you also get away fight. That's very Russian. I'm yeah. very like actively nervous about it experiencing right now. Okay, so while the SX-70 being shot underwater with a special underwater housing is sort of the star of the show today, uh, in order to film shooting an SX-70 underwater, we need a camera that can also be used underwater. So we're using a Panasonic camera with a Leica lens that uh, is in this special housing. The real star of our show is right there walking up. Well, I mean, I loved photography as a child, and then when I started scuba diving, I just fell in love with the sea life, and I just happened to be working on a television show that needed underwater footage, so I just kept doing it, getting better stuff, getting yeah. better gear, you know how it is. Yeah. What are some of the unique considerations that you have to take into account when you're shooting underwater? I mean, buoyancy is the first thing. You know, you need to, you're moving, so you need to be neutrally buoyant, and there's a current, mm -hmm. generally, so both you and the subject are kind of moving, which is harder to keep focus breathing, <laughs> you know, like yeah. that's kind of important temperatures. A lot, a lot of these things that you don't factor when you're on the ground with your feet on the ground. Yeah. I actually am pleased with the results across the board. When we did the, the really wide one, I mean, both you and I didn't think it was going to turn out. Right. It looked fine. It looked yeah, great, yeah. you know, and the close up ones, the detail shots. No, I don't think there was a focal length that we tried uh, that we had, didn't nail at least one cool shot. Well, splish splash, I was just taking a bath. Um, quite an opportunity to be able to use the SX-70 underwater. It's one of those things you never think you're gonna be able to get the chance to do. But these are the wonders, having people from around the world uh, that, that wanna help out and show you cool things. I mean, that's what this community is all about. So we had a great time, took some great shots. Thank you again to Storm and Sophia. Of course, please tap the subscribe button, if you will. I don't ask much, that's all I'm asking of you. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.